Oh uh, yeah, this house has a water slide, guys. So we're think maybe maybe 10, 10, 11 million. Yeah, we'll call it 15. He's Mike's saying fifteen. <laughs> Look at all those snook guys. Check them out. This is a big day, dudes. This is a big day. All right. Today is the day that I'm gonna catch my very first snook. All right, at least that's the goal. How you doing, man? What's up, man? How's it going? Yeah, good to finally meet you. So I'm on the boat here, and I'm with Captain Mike here in Naples, Florida. Uh, he is a fishing guide here, so if you guys are looking for a charter, I'll have his info in my description. But what we're going to do now, we've got some daylight, so we're going to go run some crab pots looking for a big triple tail. And uh, then after, uh, after that, we're going to go get some dock lights, and hopefully I'll get my first snook. So let's go make it happen. All right, guys, we are pulling up to our first dock light here and this dock is attached to what looks like a probably eight million dollar home something like that you think so it's got a water slide oh yeah this house has a water slide guys so we're think maybe maybe 10 10 11 million he's mike's saying 15. <laughs> But apparently, um, this is where we're gonna. This is where we're gonna start our our snook fishing right here. So, so guys, we already see quite a few snook in here. Um, one of them is absolutely gigantic. That oh my gosh, I am staring at a monster under there. Maybe the um, okay. I got it in there, guys. I got it in there. I got it in there. All right. That was, oh, he just, he just smoked it. I got him, fish on, fish on. There we go. There we go, first cast under the light and we got him. <laughs> there, they t it didn't take long, did it? No. And that, my friends, is my first snook. Holy smokes. There we go, guys. I finally broke the snook ice, and I'm not, I'm trying to whisper because there's a bunch more under there that we don't want to spook, all right? So I'm going to let this guy go right here. Snook number one, dudes, what's up? Buddy, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for that. Ooh, he's ready to go. There he goes. Hey, get on out of here. He's just chilling. All right, guys, we are... We are in the fish right now. I've got my loose rod back. It got broke off a minute ago. And so, um, ooh, I just threw it like right on top of one, guys. Yeah, it's all right. See, the beauty of it is shrimp jump all the time. Yeah. Oh, he just ate it. He just ate it. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. There he is. Oh, he came a hook pulled, hook pulled. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. That's okay. That's okay. So guys, they're blowing up right now underneath the stock. Oh my goodness. Like, I don't know that I could handle that fish. He is massive. I don't know where I landed. I think that's okay. That's gonna work. That's gonna work. One's looking at it, one's coming at it right now. I think he's got it. There he is. <sighs> There he is. Come on, baby. There he is. There he is. Man, it is like, this is every cast, guys. Every single cast. Lou's rod is really doing the trick on him. That's a decent one. Yeah, nice Keep him off the boat here. Oh, so this is freaking rad, man. We're sitting inside just outside of a 10 to 15 million dollar mansion catching a snook every cast i mean this is this is this is one of the best fishing experiences i've had within the last year i mean this is awesome such a nice night it's uh super calm perfect conditions man i gotta i gotta stop talking and go catch some more and these fish here are in a straight feeding frenzy right now it's like you can't throw a bait in there without getting smoked. I got him. There he is. There he is. Whew, fish on. Come here, baby. There we go. I want to get one of those big ones in there. 
that I'm looking at, but that was not one of them. It doesn't matter. Can't say I haven't caught snook now. Yeah. Oh, great. Flippers here. I wonder if Flipper's going to ruin our party. Yeah, Flipper. Something that's uh, floating by. All right. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That wasn't bad right there. All right, that wasn't bad. Good gracious. Oh, dude, that was a sick cast. That was a freaking sick cast. I'm on. Oh, he's off. I saw him eat it. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can do this again. If I can make that cast again. Ooh, I did. I did, guys. I made it. That was the cast I wanted right there. There he is. I got him. I got to pull him out. But there he is. I got him. I got him. Whew. Come here, baby. Double up. Nice. Double up, baby. Nice. Nice. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, check it out right here. Double up on the snook right here with Captain Mike. If you want to get in on some of this action, give this man a call. He'll put you on them. I'm having to throw the snook so that the dolphin don't eat them. There's dolphin hanging all around our boat. Just look at this house that we are fishing. Right? Did you lose one? Yeah. All right, give it another shot. Like, check this out, guys. It's got a water slide the house has its own water slide like you don't even need to go to the water park man all right guys i'm gonna throw one last shrimp under here and uh i mean this is just an insane insane bite right here and there's a big one right there and i just threw it kind of right on top of his head so hopefully he's gonna bite it I got him. Fish on. Fish on. This is a better one. No, it's not. No, it's not. Same size. Same size. A Maybe a little bigger. Yeah, baby. Whew. Dudes. What? He frayed that line so bad, man. <laughs> All right. Look at that one, guys. Like, I am... I'm already happy, okay? See you, buddy. So, guys, that was a uh, that was a quick trip, but man, we caught all we wanted to catch. There was just so many fish under there, so we're gonna start cruising back right now. And uh, hey, if we see anything on the way back, we'll hit you up. So I finally did it, my friends. We uh, we popped the snook cherry, <laughs> and, and you know. Uh, one of the reasons why I have never caught a snook before is because most of my fishing is done in North Florida. I don't fish in South Florida. South Florida is covered with snook. We don't have them in North Florida. Very few, let's put it that way. And that's one of the reasons that I'm traveling down there and I'm going to travel more and more uh, as my channel continues to grow. And so for that, I wanna say thank you to you guys because you guys are the ones that are allowing me the ability to be able to strike off to places like South Florida and make three or four videos or wherever else I wanna travel. And you know, the fact that you guys are watching, you guys are viewing, that is what is allowing me the ability to do that. And so for that, I am grateful. Thank you so much. Now, uh, here's kind of what the plan is. Each time I've gone down south, I have caught a new species. The first time it was peacock bass. The second time it's snook. Uh, third time, I got to get a clown knife fish. And so that is the next species that I want to knock off my list. Uh, I am going in March. Don't know where I'm going yet haven't really planned out the trip i just know that that is the next bucket list item is a clown knife fish and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep traveling and i'm going to keep doing these urban type fishing land-based fishing videos i'm obviously going to continue to make all the normal bids here in pensacola you know out of my boat but i am going to mix in this urban fishing this land-based fishing fishing in crazy places like off the side of the highway in a canal 
because it's so, that is so much fun to me, just to be dr able to pull off the side of the road and fish in whatever, uh, a mud hole, a canal, in uh, a little pond, a spillway. You know, you never know what you're gonna pull out of those places. And so I have a lot of plans for the future and uh, I'm, I'm excited about it. Also, uh, I, would, I do wanna talk about the new rods that I got. They are lose rods. I know a lot of people have been asking, uh, lose reels as well. And uh, they were nice enough to send me some combos to fish with on the channel. Now I am going to still use the toad fish rods. And so what I'm planning on doing here in the future is pairing up one of the lose reels with my toad fish rod. I think that'll make an awesome combo uh, to fish with on this channel. So, uh, and I, I'm trying to get better at linking all of my products in my description. I did it on this video. I did it on the last video. Everything that I do and that I'm associated with, whether uh, you know it's fishing charters or the equipment that I use or you know uh, buying and selling houses in Florida as a real estate agent, all that is linked in my description because I've done a lot of business and met a lot of cool people through this YouTube channel. So, uh, and for that, I'm grateful for, again, I thank you for all the support. I really, really appreciate you watching these vids. It does mean a lot to me and it does not go unnoticed, even though maybe I'm not able to get back to all the comments or all the emails that I get because I do get bombarded with emails and messages and comments on a daily basis. And so uh, if I don't get back to you, I I apologize. I try my very best to reply to everyone, but sometimes, you know, life gets in the way and it is tough. But uh, again, feel free to, to DM me on Instagram or, or email me, uh, whatever. If you have any questions, if you have a business inquiry, I will do my very best to get back to you on that. So um, shoot me a thumbs up if you enjoyed that video. That was one of the coolest fishing trips I've had in 2020. Well, we won't, we're, okay, it's one of the coolest fishing trips I've had in the last year let's put it that way so shoot me a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel please hit the subscribe button love to have you join the angler up crew hope each and every one of you have a great week